Hello and welcome to World of Tanks with Tears. This time with a T-29. Ooh. United States heavy tank. It's glorious. It's pretty. Mm-hmm. And we're playing on the Mannheim line, which is icy cold varsity hell. <laughs> snow, snow, I love it so. So uh, this was actually me playing this game. Um, while I watched everyone else hit down to the south, which is pretty much where the heavies like to go slug it out for a while, I decided to go the opposite direction because I've never actually been this way on a heavy tank. Um, oh. This way is a little bit more... Because they change these maps every so often, and I've never actually been this way on this map for a long time because I'm always playing heavies. Oh, okay. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to go this, way direction, this, this direction for fun. So it ends up with just me and this IS who's following me behind me, which is, you know, fantastic. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the, the T-29, it's one of the, uh, it's one of my favorite tanks, actually. It's, it hits like a brick. It's a little bit slow unless you get it on a, on a, a slope downwards, then it can actually pick up speed quite quickly. I was going to say, he's moving pretty decently un until you hit the hill. Yeah, and then chug, 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 chug. Yeah. The only thing that does annoy me is I don't understand what these little pipes are on the back of the, um, the turret. It just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, obviously aesthetic, sir. You just wouldn't understand. No, of course not. Uh, so, coming up to the top of this hill, it's actually where most of the mediums and, and lights tend to, to congregate because this is it's a long swing around the, the, the western side of the map. Mm -hmm. So I thought, hey, I'm going to surprise them. This will be fun. So I noticed some people in front of me. Meep. Yep, pretty much. Away. With, uh, an uh, ELC uh, AMX, which is the fast little uh, French tank. And then there's my first hit, 381. Nice. That's a nice, solid hit right there. And I hit right through the top of his um, turret. And now I decide because there's only just the two of them, I'm just gonna chase them down. Because while the <laughs> ELC can actually penetrate me, I can almost kill the ELC with one solid hit. So I'm like, you know what? I think I'm. Then see, he bounced. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I hit the Cromwell again. I was actually gonna aim for the ELC, but the Cromwell is sitting right there. Look at him run away with his 19 HP. Mm -hmm. Come back, you coward. And naturally, I'm thinking, oh, they're just gonna. Try to I missed completely. Um, I actually think I hit the rock in front of me. Um, I'm thinking, oh, you know, they're going to lead me down towards some tank destroyers or something hidden off into the the valley yeah. ahead of me. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. So Ouch. I wait, and that ELC just just doesn't <laughs> doesn't have the game uh, the, the the gun depression to be able to to fire at me from that angle. Mm -hmm. um, because of how small it is, it just can't lower its gun enough to aim down. And Do then, of any course, tanks have the depression enough to shoot at that angle. Uh, this tank actually does. Uh, it's so oh. high up; its its turrets high up that, and the the gun can actually move more freely inside the the inside the turret itself. Oh, okay. That it can aim quite a, a large um, angle in, uh, up down. Hmm. And I just hit that ELC when I was aiming at the Cromwell. So you know, win loss. This actually shows you the the depression. Um, the, t the turret armor on this tank is phenomenal. It's so one of the best tanks just for um, the turret. Mm -hmm. So what I do is hide, try to hide my uh, armor behind the rock. So they can't hit my armor, but they can hit my turret. And they'll probably I see. not get through the turret. Oh, he Dang just it. snuck behind it. The sod. And it's about this time when I notice what happened on the uh, east side. If you look at the minimap down the bottom there, Literally, my entire team is gone. Oh wow! Yeah, so I look. I'm you know I'm I'm completely enthralled with the idea that I'm you know busy beating these guys up. Most of Dang. my team is gone. It's currently six nine, which is just plain awful. Um, and there's only two heavies left on the team. This KV one driving in front of me and me. Oh man! So that's when I think you know what I'm gonna start heading back. And that Chinu on the left side there, he he is an absolute star. He and I basically. With the last ones left at the end of this game. Oh man. Mm -hmm. So you can see that um, there's a medium headed towards our flag and he's going to try and duke it out with the Chinu right now. But he's got like no health whatsoever. The Chinu just pops him off in about two seconds. 
Um, Chinu is actually quite a good tank. It's the next tank I'm going to get in the Japanese line. So, soon. Hopefully, if I play it at all. But now we we have a tank that's busy uh, capping our flag, and the Chinu stops him. Okay. So I'm, I'm rushing as fast as this little tank, this big fat tank can go. Um, and I'm kind of worried oh, because yeah. you can see there's so many other tanks on the other team. Yeah. And I don't know where most of them are. The only two that I know for a fact where they are is the um, French tank destroyer is to the south. And uh, so is one of the artilleries. Oh, man. So, yeah. So I'm coming up here. This Chinu is busy flying around this corner with the kv one is, which is a very dangerous tank. And I was playing to do the... I was doing the, the missions for the, the Stug 4. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the special for it was to kill two heavies. So naturally, I missed my first shot against this KV-1 heavy tank. Very useful for me, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the little Chinu. It's so tiny, but its gun's actually really, really good. I just like the way he's playing cat and mouse with this, this mountain here. Oh no, Chino, no! Yeah, he takes a big hit, but then the, he gets a really good one back in, so... That's when I get annoyed. Uh oh uh, I had no idea where that shot came from, but he tracked me, which is annoying, I can't move. But now the Chino is watching the back. He's decided he's going to have look towards the back, and I'm going to take the, the brunt of the main attack, because, frankly, I've got, like... Right. Triple the HP he currently has. So there's the ELC, he's kind of just spotting us in the background. Chinu is doing a good job of hiding behind the rock as much as he can. So How do you know when your teammate's been spotted? Well, most likely, if you've spotted a tank, they've probably spotted you as well, most, most of the time. Right. Especially in this kind of close quarters deal. Um, oh, look at they're all dead in one spot. <laughs> yeah, that's, they all ran down to that one little spot and decided, let's go get killed here. Oh, man. So that's I'm pushing around the corner to see what I can find. And the ELC keeps bugging me because I'm thinking, you know, I I don't want this Chinu to die behind me. I don't want to be by myself. Yeah. And but I just Chinu just has to get one good shot. He he's gotten a couple good shots into already. That's why it's on fifteen health. That's why I'm saying all he needs is one more and he's good to go. But also if the ELC gets one shot on him. Ah. Yeah. The ELC's main uh the, the, the upgraded gun is phenomenal. It's ridiculous. Uh but it it's takes forever to reload. What was that? He's saying attention D9. Yeah, he's trying to get me to move back to where I was. Oh, I uh, see. Where the, the main tech will be, because I was... He's basically telling me not to worry about the LZ. I see. What a sweetie. So I head over here, and then bad things start happening. Oh, no, why? Just, there it is. Ah! And I, I nice. hit him really, really hard. <laughs> That's why I love this... T this this tank it's got a decent reload speed which is not fantastic but it's it's fast enough that it's not are we there yet kind of speed but yeah. it also hits like a truck i love it and then i get hit by a uh, the vk which i just hit i didn't spot him which didn't it didn't make sense to me but yeah seems like once they hit you you should know where they are yeah but then i look behind me i notice that there's the french shot uh oh got him the nice. the french uh, there it is. Tank destroyer is right behind me, so I'm thinking, you know, I need to actually deal with these guys. Oh now. no, Chinu! Chinu's almost dead. Chinu, why? So I get rid of the LC, which is a bit of a lucky shot because I thought I was going to miss that one. And I think, you know, that uh, that French tank destroyer has no chance against me. I just need to rush him. Um, oh man! He has the uh, the 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 gun to to penetrate me. Mm -hmm. And I think he does do a little bit of damage, but I have so much more HP than he could do damage, and all I need is one hit. Mm. It's kind of nerve-wracking, dude. Yeah, and that's... it's it's basically, It was two against six for a time there, and now it's two yeah. against four. So naturally, I was freaking out, thinking, you know, this is this is not good, this is not good. Found him! It bounced my... He Aww. bounced off my turret. That, that turret's just the... the trolliest little turret in the world <laughs> it's front armor because of that big old chunk of metal up front it's 250 millimeters of penetration oh wow it's or i think it's 250 but it's ridiculous it's 
beyond the joke. So I'm trying to figure out where this tank story has run off to. I'm thinking the key is going to be on the left, so I'll keep moving around. Where in the crap is he? I have no idea. So I keep going. So I'm like, uh, there he is. Oh, God. And he misses. And then Perfect. I, I don't. Nice. So now I've gotten to three kills. Um, which started off with, I believe, the Cromwell at the other side of there. Did oh, I kill him? Man. Yeah. But so now the, the, the Chinu is on almost dead health. And we have a Tiger 1, a Churchill gun carrier, and a Bishop left. Those are the, the, the final. Okay. Yeah, Churchill gun carrier, Bishop, and a, and a Tiger 1. The, the Churchill gun carrier has already gotten one kill. And then we find the, the tiger. Thankfully, he's on relatively low health, so not too bad. One good hit. Bang, bang. Ooh, just uh, barely missed his turret because he snuck back just before I, I managed to get sure. the shot off. I know, right? They're probably... And then I just bounced someone's shot. I want to say that was probably the bishop. Because the bishop... This? It fires really quickly, but it, it can't actually penetrate. Worth as it. much as I want a speedster tank, this tank looks more towards my play style, which is just friggin' run and gun. Primarily like, why I want you to show you this tank. Shoot. If you get a good heavy tank, you you would be badass. So I actually rolled really low on that one. Um, and then the, the bishop starts peppering me. So I see the Churchill right in front of me, just waiting for the reload. Well, bam! Yeah, I rolled yeah. exactly the amount of HP he had. And I, I began moving again because I thought, oh, that bishop knows exactly where I am. And there's the bishop. Oh, two left, two left. So there's the, the tiger Only one. Only one left. And now the bishop's terrified because he's the last one left. Oh my god. What a turnaround. So he's trying to, he's trying to run away. Because there's a <laughs> there's river behind him there. And he's going to go try and kill himself so I don't get the kill. Oh, really? That, that's wait, what that's I thought. Thing? I went, oh, really? That's not happening. So I charge. <laughs> This is a very American of me. So, uh, naturally, I say nice job to the Chino. He did fantastically. We could not have won this game without him getting rid of those guys. But uh, that bishop's busy trying his best to, to hit me or the Chino, and it's Poor not going to... Poor bishop. Run away. The, it, it's a... <laughs> I like all the corpses over here. Yeah, they, they didn't do very well. El Tigre 101, that... No, no. Just, just, no. <laughs> so, yeah, you can actually... Yeah, he's trying to, to, to kill himself in the water, so I don't get the kill. But no, I just blew him to smithereens. <laughs> I like his boast over here. I'm not impressed by you. Come back. All right, so let's go have a look at the stats. Do. Oh, this is the victory screen. You got so much stuff. So many. It's ridiculous. Holy crap. Um, firstly, we have the first class medal for, for getting really, really... It, it's getting them the, a decent score... Uh, better than I believe it's ninety percent. No, not eighty percent. I believe of everyone else playing that tank for the week. Oh wow! Uh, and then we get the fire for effect, which causes you cause more damage to enemy tanks than the hit points of your vehicle, which I seem to get quite often. That's like my fiftieth. Uh, then we get shell proof. The have total damage blocked by your armor, which exceeds the hit points of your armor. So yeah, pretty pretty yeah. badass right there. Uh, duelist, I killed at least two enemy uh, vehicles that caused damage to my vehicle. Huh. I like it. the brass knuckles next to it. Yep. Bruiser, uh, damage enemy uh, vehicle modules or injure crew members at least five times in a battle. Ouch. I love it. Uh, and then, of course, I got steel wool because, you know, you can't. it's very difficult to get shell proof and not get steel wool. Uh, okay. You have to receive at least 11 hits or the most hits of any player on your team. With the potential damage of over a thousand HP and survive. Yeah, that's what happens when you're driving around a heavy tank that's top tier. It's just that's unfair. That's insane. Uh, then I get high caliber, which means I did I caused damage that must be at least twenty percent of the HP of the enemy vehicles. Huh. So essentially, I did twenty percent at least of the damage for my entire team. That's nuts. And I got Top Gun for killing six players. Dun dun dun. It's, it's pretty badass right there. All right, let's go have a look at the team score page. Okay, well, this is the, uh, the team score page. Obviously, <laughs> I did a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, 
Ouch. That SU 12244 actually had a ridiculous amount of damage as well. I, I commend him for that amount of damage. Um, but you, he, he died like the rest of them in that one little section, so it really didn't help us all that much. Um, on the other side of things, the T-3485 that the Chinu finished off did a buttload of damage for their side. Um, as well as that French uh, tank destroyer on the other side did 1300 damage. Um, and I think he actually he got second on his team dang yeah the second no third most of damage but he got second in, in uh, experience oh. so actually did quite well um, on our side obviously I did the most damage the SU 122 uh, two did the next most and then the next most after that less than a thousand so that's Holy that's pretty crap. bad we had actually had a, that, that IS that followed me did zero damage <laughs> that, that, that poor poor IS <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that's the the top damage I've ever done in this tank. And that's it, cool. I actually enjoyed that quite a lot. Let's have a look at the uh, the detailed report then. Okay. Report. Uh, it clearly states that I shot seventeen times and I missed four of them. I'm I'm ashamed. Ah, oh, goodness. Uh, but the th the thirteen I hit, twelve of them were penetrations, which is why I did all that damage. I received thirteen hits. Four of them were penetrations. That's why I had a little bit of damage on me, but it really wasn't all that much. That Nine non-penetrate. Dang, dude. When it's when when they they bounce off the, the armor like that, a damage blocked by armor was fourteen hundred, which is more Whoa. than my HP. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Um. Yeah. So actually, I I traveled three point three nine miles in a one of medium speed heavy tanks. Dang. Slight drawback with the higher tier tanks. This is a tier seven tank, I believe. Um, is that ammo repair? Uh, ammo and repair t tends to cost quite a bit. My ammunition. I fired oh, seventeen times. Shit. Each shell was a thousand credits. Oh. So because I don't play with premium, I only got eleven thousand total credits for that g entire game. Holy crap! And if I were playing um, premium, I would have gotten thirty seven hundred experience for that instead of twenty four hundred. Oh, so premium actually is very very useful. So, what's the di uh, noob question here? Mm -hmm. What's the difference between premium and what we're playing? Premium, well, obviously there's the free, which lets you play whatever. Premium lets you use, uh, it gives you more experience. Um, I don't know exactly what the, the, the quantity is, but it, it, you you gain more experience per thing. Um, so, is it like a pay monthly thing? Yeah, you can pay it either with gold or you can pay for X amount of days. Uh, usually it's 30 oh. days. I believe you can pay for a year for a gargantuan sum. Okay. Um, but it's it, it, it's very useful if this is one of the only games you're playing. Hmm. Uh, mostly because you get such a great bonus out of it. It's amazing. Um, and the, what times I have had it, it's been really, really useful. Uh -huh. So yeah. having a look for um, the, the premium account, for example, I can get 14 days of premium account plus 9 slots of um, garage space for okay. about $18 right now. Oh. A year is about 96 Ooh, So it's, it's not cheap, but if you only have like, you, you, got, you have like a, two days off and you want to play yeah, like as really much as you can, it. mm -hmm. it's $1.49 for a day. So that's actually pretty cheap. So yeah, that's um, it's probably one of the best games I've ever had ever. So I wanted to share it with everyone because it's it's that awesome. <laughs> uh, Don't indulge him, guys. It'll be okay. Y you're just jelly. Oh. All right. Well, uh, I guess we will see you on the next video whenever that arrives. Bye. Bye.